Warning, this video may contain disturbing depictions of some of your favourite Rick and Morty characters. If you can't handle that, because you're a little crybaby, do not watch this video. I'm just kidding, watch the video. It's really not that bad, I just felt like doing a dramatic intro because it seems like the right thing to do. In this video, I'll be drawing some Rick and Morty characters, but with a horror twist. I'll be taking inspiration from horror movies, horror games, and creepypastas, and some other internet creepy things, and transforming these characters. See how quickly you can guess where the inspiration is coming from for each of these characters, and let me know which was your favourite one in the comments below. And if you enjoy drawing videos like this, you should definitely subscribe, because I upload new ones every single week, and that way you won't miss out. But with that all said, let's get on with this video. With Morty's Nightmare Balloon Boy FNAF version done, we're going to move on to the next character, which is Rick. See if you can guess what's going to be on the other side. I think it is pretty obvious. This Pennywise version of Rick is slightly disturbing. I was a big fan of the It movies and it just seemed like a good fit. I definitely could imagine Morty being the little boy in the yellow raincoat, little Georgie, and Rick, Pennywise has just bitten his arm off. That was brutal. Up next is Beth. Can you guess what's going on the other side?
this one is dedicated to all the Junji Ito fans out there. Such an awesome art style. I always feel like I can learn something recreating his artworks, and that's a big reason why I really enjoy these videos where I try different styles because I pick different things up. Little techniques I wouldn't normally try, but I push myself to do different things in these videos, so I think I grow as an artist. What a little wholesome artistic moment in the midst of drawing disturbing and creepy stuff. Who would have thought? Anyway, on to the next character. For Planetina, I was a bit stuck on what to draw, so I ended up going with an endoskeleton from Five Nights at Freddy's because I kind of imagined her as like a cyborg terminator type of character, so that was just what I went with. Next up is Squanchy. What could be on the other side of this mischievous cat creature thing? Something disturbing, that's for sure. For Squanchy's horrific side, I ended up going with the style of Smile Dog from the Creepypasta. I know Squanchy is a cat-like creature, so Smile Dog seems weird, but hey, that's the beauty of drawing. You can draw it however you want. So that's what I did. 
We're up to the last character of this video. Notice how each character progressively gets less detailed. That's because I'm pretty exhausted by the end of these videos, drawing for so long on each picture. Any character with less detail is really appealing to me. So Mr. Meeseeks it is. And that, my friends, is another creepy as hell drawing complete. And that means it's the end of the video. If you enjoy content like this, you can support the channel by giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you so much to all of my awesome patrons for supporting my channel that little bit extra. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.